I'm, I'm finding more and more out the more <laughs> the deeper I go into this. But I've always had I've had people with Crohn's disease and ulcerative colitis that by improving muscle function, it's actually minimized their symptoms of, of the disease. And because those diseases are all inflammatory based. And so as you if you think of the surface area that the muscle system covers, I mean, the mass of the mother, look at your body when you're three, over 300 pounds bodybuilding, um, the mass that that covers, um, it's it literally when the to when you have total body or systemic inflammation, you only have so many immune cells and only, only so much artillery to go start. I mean, the whole reason we have an inflammatory response is to repair damaged tissue. So you have all of this damaged tissue with low tolerance levels that you keep putting, I mean, day-to-day -day activity like this kid was too, too stressful for what his body could tolerate. And so it compounded the inflammation. Well, as we began movement by movement, muscle by muscle to raise the tolerance level of the muscles, now all of a sudden you need less artillery. And now all of a sudden, now, you, now the back, a flu bug comes in or there's some bacteria. Now the immune system says, I can fight this off now because I'm, I was over here. I was too busy trying to repair this damaged tissue that I couldn't do the job that the immune system normally is supposed to do. And people say you have a weakened immune system. They don't have a weakened immune system. They have an overactive immune system that, that they can't fight off disease or, or bacteria because they're too busy trying to heal damaged tissue.